Well, folks, the Nashville Predators are still alive. We come to this one with about five minutes to go in the second overtime and what has just been a war between the Carolina Hurricanes, Nashville Predators. This game's tied at four in a 2 nothing series. Basically, the Predators need to win this game. Otherwise, they're down 3 nothing and basically done. And by the way, hit that subscribe button while you're here. Go, uh, go do that. Anyways, a pretty normal breakout here. Carolina is in the Nashville zone, a pretty normal play. Puck is right here coming from behind the net. Uh, we got two Carolina guys swooping out, uh, and it's a pretty normal breakout. We've got this guy, this guy, and this guy. Three Predators moving up. Basically, the pretty standard play is Yossi's going to bring it around here, and he's probably going to play it up to Forsberg. Forsberg is going to go glassing out or chip it up the middle and basically just a pretty standard breakout. But instead what happens uh, is Matt Duchesne would normally come to sort of like support here and support the breakout, make sure Forsberg is sort of bank here or his pass up. Duchesne would help move that forward. But instead, Duchesne just starts gunning up the ice and Yossi is just decides he's just going to sky this sky this puck. Uh, basically to deep center field here. So Yossi picks this up. Duchesne starts skating. Uh, sort of on this path and what's going to happen is as this thing gets skied This is going to take basically this entire part of the ice out of the play Because if you think about it, this guy's focused sort of on pinching in here making sure this breakout doesn't get anywhere uh, But instead as this puck comes through we'll wait for it to land here Right here So what happens is basically everyone behind this play is is not going to be involved and the puck is right here It's kind of blurry, but you can still see it uh, Matt Duchesne puts his stick out trying to knock it out uh, the defender here doing the same thing. But what's so lucky for Matt Duchesne is they both miss it and it hits and it just perfectly lands off to the side here, which means Matt Duchesne can just skate. He can just pick this thing up. The defender is completely out of the play. He's facing this way. Uh, as long as the defender can't sort of reach back and smack it, uh, he's kind of done here. So as his puck bounces, Matt Duchesne's just able to skate onto it. The defender has to turn. Uh, and at this point, he's already beat, right? Matt Duchesne's got all of his momentum going this way. This defender is still in the middle of a turn. And look at where the puck is, right? It's all the way on the right-hand side, which means this defender has no chance at reaching this puck. Look how far away it is from him, right? Like, there's such a big gap there. And Duchesne smartly takes his backhand, and he's going to just put the puck on the backhand and just keep it out there, right? Like, just keep the puck on the backhand as he cuts into the net. So he, he keeps protecting this puck. The defenders, he's done here, right? He's trying to reach the stick in. Best case scenario, you get a hooking penalty. Uh, worst case, Duchesne goes in and scores. But he's got this thing protected. He's got his skates angling this way. And he's going to cut in. And he's basically going to have this entire part of the ice all to himself. That's what he does. Uh, Nadelkovic tries the poke check here. And if we go back just a few frames, we'll see why. As Duchesne's moving in... Uh, I think Nedeljkovic thinks this is the path that Duchesne's going to go on, but Duchesne pulls it in a little earlier and actually just pulls it back here. So this poke check is going to be out of reach for Alex Nedeljkovic. And just a really quick, the release time on this thing. Look at how quickly he releases this thing. Just quickly flips it over, over the shoulder, into the top corner, and just like that, Matt Duchesne has won it. Make it 5-4. This is a uh, two to one series for the Carolina Hurricanes and Nashville is still alive. Again, you're still alive as long as you're uh, not losing games on home ice. If they can come back in a couple days time on Sunday and beat the Hurricanes there, then we will have ourselves a heck of a series. Anyways, that's all I've got for this one. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, do all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next one.